Today we're tying a spark plug. The hook I have in the vise is a TMC 2302. It's a size 8. And the rich Jan Nimick's original recipe for this calls for a Orvis 8A03, which I have one right here. As you can see, it's the same hook, essentially. Uh, the, or the only thing I see as a difference is the Orvis one is got a, is a heavier gauge wire, which would make sense for being Pyramid Lake, but uh, I don't think that it's drastic enough to um, not use the TMC. The TMC, are, to me, are easier to find, easier to get a hold of than these Orvis hooks, and so that's why I'm using the TMC. Uh, we're going to wrap about 10 wraps of 0 0.025 lead wire on the hook shank. Put that up in the be up the bead, and we'll start some UTC 140 in black on the hook shank. Um, usually, I would start this with the same color of thread that I'm going to make the fly uh, because it's a, it's a wired body, and I think that when you use the same color of thread as the wire, the gaps between the wire, which shouldn't be very many anyway, but it looks better. But I don't have any UTC 140 in blue. So I'm using black, and then I'll switch over to a UTC-70 in blue um, after I get my taper built. So um, for the tail, I'm using some Kingfisher Blue Ice Dub. You don't need very much of this. The original recipe, original pattern from Jan Nimick again, calls for angel hair, um, but I think this UTC, I mean, excuse me, I think this dubbing is cheaper than than uh, angel hair, so I'm going to use it. Tight, hold that at the top of the shank, and what I did was I just took the fibers and kind of um, pulled them out, put them together, trying to even the tips as much as I could, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the shank. I'll fold it back. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and it's going to be just a slight bit longer than the from the bend, just like that. Then I'll go ahead and start, wrap the thread back up to the behind the lead there. And I'm going to take some U some ultra wire, and this is medium blue ultra wire. This is gonna be a blue one. And I will go ahead and tie that in at the, behind the bead there. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie it in on the underside of the hook. Uh, because I think that with these some of these wire flies, when you wrap that wire at the bottom, at the, the near the tail there, I mean, if you wrap it from the top, you see a gap here of thread that uh, just isn't appealing to me. So if I keep it at the bottom, then the gap is at the bottom of the fly, not at the top or the sides of it. So that's the purpose of that. I'm going to try to keep flat wraps as I'm wrapping this. I know you can't see it from your end, but... Keeping it on the bottom of the fly here. And once I get to that point, to the end there, I'm going to go ahead and bring this thread back up. I'm going to counterspin it to keep it flat. And then I'm going to start building my taper. I'm going to go back down the shank to, uh, to 20, about 20% point or 80% point, depending on how you do your math on there and I'll bring it back up just to build the taper and I'll do it again adding another 20 percent and I'm just keep counter wrap counter spinning this bobbin to keep the thread wraps flat I'm going to go ahead and whip finish this and uh, apply some UTC-70 or UTC-70 in blue because that's what I've got the blue in UTC-70, not 140. Now that I've got my wire in and my taper mostly built. If you're looking at this and you see some gaps here with the, wire, the lead wire, 
You can pull that off, this looks pretty good. So I'll leave it alone. Okay, I'm gonna start my UTZ-70. Peacock blue right behind the bead. Pull on the, give a the touch, bobbin a little bit of strength and wrap it around my finger and then just pop that thread. And bring the thread down the, down the hook shank with flat wraps, touching as close as you can. We're gonna bring it all the way down and we're gonna bring it all the way back up. And this is just so we can get the blue base for the underwire, for the underbody, for the, when the wire goes over it. And, um, if there's any minor gaps or whatnot between the wire wraps, uh, it'll look blue so you won't really be able to see it. If it's black or white or whatever other color, it's, it kind of stands out to me like a sore thumb. So I'll go ahead and counter wrap that, counter spin that bobbin, and bring that back up. Oops. Right here I'm just fixing up a gap or a piece of lead wire that I, I seen that I didn't like so I'm just gonna cover it up. Oh, looks like I got a little bit of that thread there still. Need to trim that out. Okay. I'll go ahead and do a half hitch with my thread. Put my bobbin on the, my thread on the bobbin, I have a bobbin on the cradle, and I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this. The wire up the shank, close touching wraps with the previous wrap. And I'm, uh, it's just similar to how I do tie my copper johns, obviously, just wrap the wire. Just kind of jiggle it a little bit and let it allow it to roll off the previous wrap and you get close touching wraps. gap there for more tie stuff that doesn't need to be a huge gap between the bead and the wire and then I'll go ahead and tie that wire off and then I'm gonna gently t pull on my bobbin with the thread to give it some tension and I'll go ahead and helicopter this ultra wire Thread, a third way down the shank to start working on the thorax. Um, for the wing case, we're going to use some large Mirage Opal tinsel. We'll go ahead and tie that into the top of the fly. Make sure it's centered. It's pretty close. I'm gonna get some more of this Kingfisher ice dub, Kingfisher blue ice dub, and uh, start working on the thorax. I guess not start working on the thorax, but continue with the thorax. If you allow it, this uh, will build bulk pretty quick. Uh, we don't want it too bulky. We just want to cover up the wraps and give it um, a look of a thorax. If it doesn't need to be too bulky, and it's easy to do because I've done it.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Some of these fibers out of there. I'll bring the wing case over. My fingernail a little bit, my finger to hold it in place a little bit. Gently bring it down and then uh, align it up so it's straight across the shank. And give it a good pull. A couple wraps in. And we're going to nick it. And pull it. Okay, now we're going to take some Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails and coat about a half inch of thread below the, the hook there, below the fly. And we'll go ahead and whip finish. Right out of the way. Now we're gonna take some UV glue and we're gonna coat the wing case with it. Kind of like Copper John style. Just blasting it with my light, that's why my hands are in the way. And then I'll take some clear cure hydro because that was uh, clear cure you thick and it dries sticky. So, hydro does not. Cool up hydro. Blast it again. And there you have it. Spark plug. I like the way this fly turned out. Um, you can see how at the end here, where my pod can hear. See at the end here, you can't see the gap where the th the wraps of wire started. So that's that's good. Um, if I could do anything different, I'd probably tighten up my thorax a little bit as I was dubbing the thread. Tighten it up a little more. Maybe add a bit of wax. I don't know and uh, maybe went just a hair further back. Well, not much, but just a hair. But overall, looks good. Looks like a spark plug. I'm sure it'll fish just as fine. Thanks for watching this demonstration and please remember to like Fishbase Flybox on Facebook and subscribe to my channel so you can uh, enjoy more demonstrations. Thank you and have a nice day.